treating cancer, there's a number of treatment modalities that we use and chemotherapy is one of them. Chemotherapy are drugs that interfere with the DNA of dividing cells and they either slow down or block cell division. So you can have your chemotherapy both in the inpatient setting and in a day chemo unit. So when you arrive at the hospital, you'll check in at reception and take a seat in the waiting area. And then your nurse will come and get you and bring you through to the chair or bed where you'll be treated. And we'll run through the checks, including blood results and vital signs and all your symptoms before we get venous access and administer your treatment. And then afterwards, we just monitor you for a little bit, make sure you're feeling well enough to go home. Or if you require further monitoring, you can stay in the inpatient unit if needed. So we administer chemotherapy in cycles, which basically refers to the frequency that you're coming in. So it could be every two weeks, it could be every three weeks. Um, some people will have two weeks on, one week off. Um, basically, it's always different and it will just depend on which treatment you're on. Every visit is different for different patients. Some patients, they have a shorter chemotherapy regime. So they could be in and out in half an hour. Some could be here a bit longer. They could take three to four hours. So really it's just regime dependent. Every chemotherapy is different and you could experience a range of side effects that we like to warn you about. Fatigue is a really common one. Also, decreased appetite, nausea, sometimes vomiting. Um, you can get a little bit constipated or it can go the other way. You can get loose bowels, but also you can experience some um, hair thinning or hair loss. Not all chemotherapy can cause this, but it is common for a lot of people to have at least some hair thinning. In addition to your chemotherapy, we provide you with a range of different supportive medications to help you with your treatment. They help to alleviate or prevent symptoms and can range from anti-nausea to gastro stop to help with loose bowels or pain medication or mouthwash to help with any little sores or ulcers that you can get. Um, but basically the most important thing is just speak up and let us know if you are experiencing something and then we can always help to get some supportive medication to help with those symptoms. So every time when we send patients home, um, you know, from having chemotherapy, especially in their first cycle, um, we give them a sheet of instructions of what to do if they experience certain side effects. If it's something mild or something that you're unsure about, um, we want you to give us a call. So we give you our number to call during business hours. And if it's something that you're unsure about, say after hours in the middle of the night at 3 a.m., um, we give you the oncology ward number because there are always oncology nurses there who can help you. And if they're not able to answer your questions, we can always escalate this to your oncologist and they'll be able to give us the best solution. Mm -hmm.